Hi everyone, welcome back. Miss Caverino Moyano here to talk about my favorite element of art, color. Color is the element of art derived from reflected light or absorbed light. Color adds interest, mood, and meaning to works of art. The, there are three properties of color. The three properties include hue, which is the name of a color, such as red, yellow, or blue, or green. Intensity, which refers to how bright or how dull a color is. And value, which is how light or dark a color is. Intensity, high intensity colors are really bright, where low intensity colors are very dull. Value refers to how light or how dark a color is. Tints are lighter values of a color, where shades are darker values of a color. The color wheel was developed by Sir Isaac Newton. There are three primary colors. These primary colors cannot be created by mixing any other colors. The three primary colors include yellow, red, and blue. Here's a composition created using high intensity primary colors by Pete Mondrian. And another composition of high intensity primary colors by Roy Leichenstein. Red, yellow, and blue. Secondary colors are created by mixing two primary colors. For example, blue and yellow create green. Yellow and red create orange. Blue and red create violet. Tertiary colors are made by mixing one primary plus one secondary. Tertiary means three. For example, blue plus green equals blue-green tertiary colors. Complementary colors are any two colors directly opposite on the color wheel. The complement of red is green. The complement of violet is yellow. Here's an example of a composition done in complementary colors by Vincent van Gogh. The two colors predominantly used in this composition are green and red. Split complementary colors can be a lot more complicated. It's similar to the complementary color set, except when we get to the opposite side, we split in half using the two colors on either side of the complement. So in this example, we see yellow, the complement is violet, so we split in half and we use red violet and blue violet. Here's an example of a composition by Edward Munch called The Stream. In this composition, Edward Munch uses blue and the complement of blue is orange. So we're looking at yellow, orange, and red, orange. Analogous colors are three colors side by side on the color wheel. This includes a primary, secondary, and a tertiary color in between. In this example of Oriental Poppies by Georgia O'Keeffe, Georgia O'Keeffe uses a high intensity bright red and an orange and the red orange in between and she also uses a yellow orange. Monochromatic refers to one color. One color can be a bright color, a dull color, a light color, a dark color, all the tints, shades, and tones of a one single hue. Achromatic refers to no color, which may include values of white, black, and gray. In this composition of Guernica done by Pablo Picasso, we see lots of values. However, there are no colors involved. Neutrals refer to the values not on the color wheel, such as white, black, brown, and gray. In this composition by Georges Barak, we can see that none of these colors are listed on the color wheel. Color temperature refers to how warm or cool a color might be. 
In this composition, Son of Man by Rene Magritte, we, it feels like a lot of cool colors create this tone of coldness. In this composition by um, Diego Rivera, we see a lot of warm colors. We see that there are lots of, there are oranges, reds, yellows, and tints of red over here. But we also see that there are some, there is some green in the background, which is the complement of red. However, the green is really toned down by adding some of the red into the green, creating a duller green. What color scheme do you think this one is? Some of you might be saying, well, it's cool colors. And some of you might be saying, well, it's analogous colors. Both of you are right. How about this composition? We're going to discuss this one in our next virtual class. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you soon in our next virtual class. And we're going to discuss colors and we'll be looking again at this at the uh, composition by Pablo Picasso in the in our last scene here, but we're also going to be talking about our um, crossword puzzle on color theory. See you all soon.